Imagine a car brand that's beloved, selling millions of vehicles annually, but struggles to find its footing in its home market. This is the curious case of Buick, a brand that has become an enigma for General Motors, its parent company. With the SUV and crossover market booming, the question begs to be asked, should GM continue selling Buicks in the US, or redirect resources to Chevy and Cadillac to make up for the slow sales of the Buick brand? Let's find out. Buick is a cash cow for GM in China, accounting for over 80% of its global sales. By leveraging its strong brand image and established network, Buick generates significant profits for the general, which can be used to invest in research and development for new technologies across all its brands. This financial boon allows GM to remain competitive in the tough global market and develop cutting-edge technologies such as EVs and autonomous vehicles for the future. The TriShield brand occupies a unique space in the car market, offering a premium experience at a more affordable price point than Cadillac. This affordable luxury positioning attracts a loyal customer base who value comfort, reliability, and a touch of class without breaking the bank. Buick caters to a specific niche of consumers who seek a luxurious and comfortable driving experience without the lofty price tag of other luxury brands such as Cadillac, Lexus, and Volvo. While Chevrolet and Cadillac compete in fiercely contested mainstream and luxury segments, Buick offers a more focused lineup of SUVs and crossovers. This allows the brand to cater to specific customer preferences like those seeking a luxurious family car without the ostentatiousness of Cadillac or the mainstream nature of Chevy. Buick's focus on SUVs and crossovers aligns with the current market trends, where demand and outlook for these types of vehicles has never been. Buick shares dealerships with GMC, another GM brand who is primarily focused on trucks but has its own SUV and crossover lineup. This synergy creates operational efficiency and allows dealerships to offer a wider range of vehicles to attract a larger customer pool. By keeping Buick around, GM avoids the cost of restructuring its dealership network and can leverage existing infrastructure and resources to benefit both brands. Buick boasts a long and rich history, being one of the oldest American car brands beginning life as a company in 1899. This heritage carries prestige and brand recognition, appealing to customers who value tradition and established brands. Through the glory days of Buick in the 1950s and 1960s, its long history instills trust and confidence in consumers, which can be a valuable asset in a competitive market. In the US, Buick sales have been steadily declining, losing ground to not only foreign competitors, but also its own corporate siblings, Chevrolet and GMC. This decline raises questions about the brand's long-term viability in the American market. Buick was known for building large land yachts full of luxury, but it also had a sporty side in the 1970s and 80s with the potent Grand National. Now, with declining sales, Buick may not be able to justify the continued investment from GM, potentially leading to the brand's demise in the US. The product lineups of Buick, GMC, and Chevrolet are increasingly overlapping, particularly in the SUV segment since Buick no longer sells sedans or wagons. This internal competition can confuse customers and dilute the brand identities of all three brands. With similar offerings, consumers may not see the need to choose Buick over GMC or Chevy, leading to decreased sales for both brands and less profitability for GM. Maintaining a separate brand like Buick requires significant investment in marketing and advertising, resources that could be better utilized to strengthen the general's other core brands such as Chevrolet and Cadillac, which have broader market appeal. By focusing resources on these stronger brands, GM could potentially achieve greater overall success and profitability. Cadillac isn't going anywhere given the popularity of the Escalade and the potential foray into Formula One with Andretti Global. The automotive industry is undergoing a rapid transformation towards electric vehicles and autonomous driving. GM needs to strategically allocate its resources to develop these new technologies. Continued investment in Buick, which offers primarily gas-powered vehicles, could hinder progress in these critical areas. Buick executives are pinning their hopes on the electric reincarnation of the Electra coming in 2025 and the Wildcat concept car. As the future of the automotive industry lies in electric and autonomous vehicles, 
focusing resources on developing these technologies within GM's other brands may be a more strategic decision. In recent years, Buick has struggled to shake its image as an old person's car. Nameplates such as the Roadmaster, Skylark, and Century don't strike a chord in today's market. This has made it difficult to attract younger buyers, who are increasingly driving the demand for SUVs and crossovers. With the perception of being outdated and unattractive to younger generations, Buick may find it increasingly difficult to compete in the long run. If you're enjoying this video, please consider hitting the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you'll know when another great video is available. Buick's future in America is uncertain. Despite its success overseas, the brand faces significant challenges in its home market. To survive and thrive, Buick needs to adapt to changing consumer preferences, embrace new technologies, and differentiate itself from its competitors. By embracing a bold new identity, investing in electric vehicles, and strengthening its brand story, Buick can carve out a unique niche in the American automotive landscape. However, the road ahead will be long and arduous. Buick's success will ultimately depend on GM's ability to make smart, strategic decisions, adapt to market trends, and capture the hearts and minds of a new generation of American car buyers. Only time will tell if this iconic brand can rewrite its narrative and reclaim its place on American roads. Thanks for watching. See you next time.